Good morning, everybody. Today's gonna be a catch-up vlog. We haven't really published a vlog for two weeks now. We've had a couple videos here and there, but I'm gonna try to catch you up on to some things today, including farm projects and the baby. Now that the baby pigs aren't in here tearing everything up, we can have those buckets where they need to be, right? You be nice, Donald. <laughs> the chickens are doing really well. They're still out in this orchard area. And to my knowledge, we haven't lost a single chicken since the other day when I made that video. The apple trees are doing really good. You can see this new growth here. Look how much growth this one has on it. This is just one of my first year trees that I just planted. Ah! A little risky jumping those fences, especially barefoot because you can get shocked. Since the baby was born, we've had this routine where I take usually all the kids out in the morning and do the animal chores kind of take the craziness outside and let Bree have a little bit of downtime in the house with the baby. Let me tell you, the kids love being out here in the morning. No, you don't. You can't, I'm not gonna let you get, I'm not gonna get that close to you again. No harm done. There's just a little bit of water on the lens cover there. Not a big deal. I'm just gonna check the cow's bucket. This is where the hose was supposed to be. It looks full enough to me. I like your hair. Did you fix it yourself? Ponytails. Piggy tails. Piggy tails, I'm sorry, not ponytails. And here she comes, the star of the show. <laughs> I'm not the star, he's the star. The stars of the show. Look at that boy, and mom's looking so good. And I ordered um, like something to put in the garden that has Mama, shade to put him in, float. so that we can finally start working in the garden together. Yeah, there's that boy. There's mm -hmm. that he's cute... falling asleep. How are you doing, mama and baby? Tell everybody. I feel like this is the best I've felt. And wow. Little man. I'm being sent up here to the house. Well, I volunteered to go to look for a sling for Brianna for the baby. She's definitely been very weak after this birth, but she is just a super mom. I just wanted to say that about her. Okay, I found it. Just the most predictable place. It's just under the kitchen table. Because that's exactly where you'd expect to find a baby sling, right? Under the kitchen table, huh? Okay. Guess where it was. Where? Under the kitchen table. You didn't look there? I didn't. Come on, Brianna. I should know by now. This is my favorite sling for newborn. I like the ergo when my babies get bigger, but when they're newborns, I like this little Maya wrap sling. Mm -hmm. Alright bud, let's see. Are you salvageable? I don't know, you look okay. What is it? What is it? Is it alive? Yeah, it's alive, but here look at it. Does it hurt? Yeah, it's hurt. Let's keep it. No, don't touch it. It Why? might bite you. He's probably not Can in the mood keep... to be petted right now. Can we keep him and take care of him till he's better? Let's put him in the woods. I want to take care of him. All right, we're going to put him right here. Boop, gone. I think that's really just a YouTuber skill, taking your shirt off while running, holding a camera. <laughs> I've never done that before, but I didn't want him to bite me, so I grabbed him with my shirt. What's that awful smell? Can you smell that? 
It smells really bad. I'm joking. I know what it is. Her hunting activities don't seem to put a real dent in the chipmunk population. They live down here in and around our little woodshed. What are you doing? Are you surfing in the creek? Help me. I'll help you? Here, you grab my hand. All right, jump down. Watch my nose. I'm not playing. How's that? That's better. I'm just over there looking at our flower garden and our herb garden. And there's like perennials coming up, but you can't tell because they're so messy. So as soon as um, the midwife says I can do work, I'm going to clean out those beds. I'm going to go do a few little chores. I think I'm okay. Okay, see you soon. I'll send Grace if I need you. I'm going to do a few updates as I go on some things we've done since we talked to you last. I've started this bed here. This is going to be Brianna's lavender bed. She's wanted one for years. So we've got it dug up, mulched heavily. He actually surprised me with this while I was like inside recovering for a week because I didn't really come outside except to sit on the deck and I had no idea. And so it's actually like this huge exciting surprise because I did a lavender bed last year and our chickens tore it up. So we're, he put it back in for me. I'm very excited. <laughs> Update number two is I'm starting a bunch of cuttings, or hoping to start a bunch of cuttings. I'll tell you why. Here's a bunch of grape cuttings from my favorite grapevine on this barn. You can see where you take cuttings off of grapes, they form this like jelly that I guess protects them from losing too much fluid. Here's a bunch of comfrey root cuttings that I decided to throw in some little pots. And last, apple cuttings. You heard that right, apple cuttings. I'm not gonna talk a lot about this now, but I'm trying to start some apple trees from cuttings. It's something I never even imagined doing until like a week ago. I expect most of them to fail, but if I get one self-rooted apple tree out of it, I'll be excited and I'll talk to you more about this soon. A pasture update. The pasture is actually starting to grow some. Yay! Blueberry update. No blueberries. Here's our fig tree. But if you look a little closer, you'll see that it's not totally dead. It's just frozen to the ground. But there's shoots coming out. And look here. Here's a tiny little fig leaf right there. Dolly's got herself stuck in that tiny little stall. Come on, Dolly. Turn around. Dolly, come on. Come on, lady. Come out here and give you some fresh grass from the yard. <clears throat> Dolly's coming out of the barn for a little bit of grain and fresh grass. Everyone always asks in the vlog comments why she's so skinny. And she may be a little bit on the under condition side, but she actually looks quite good. If you're look if you're used to looking at beef cows, um, they look much more beefy. Dairy cows are bony year round. And we're watching her closely, we're supplementing her feed, and she's actually doing really well. Baby growths are doing great. You can already tell this guy's a buck. Look at the hair on his neck standing up. Look how beefy and chunky he is compared to his sister. And his horns are growing. He's, he's got about inch and a quarter horns on his head. The other goats are doing pretty good. Raven always looks puny though. Raven, you always look puny. They actually just got wormed with Cydectin because she looked bad. And we wanted to do them all at once and so we just wormed all of them. That's Cydectin in addition to the herbal dewormers, which aren't always enough. Dolly's done with her grain and now she's going to look for some grass.
garden update might be a little disappointing. We've got some beds started, but we're just way behind. Can you guess why? But here's a cool note. Our asparagus came back to life after the chickens ravaged it. Look at that. And the rhubarb is looking really good, just a little bit weedy. It's kind of gratifying that at least those perennials that we put in are still doing really well. This area where the pigs were that I planted cover crops actually looks pretty good. The cover crops are coming up. There's buckwheat. There's Sudan grass sorghum. Here's some radishes. And cow peas. Baby pigs are back with mom and dad. Because I, I think they were just about weaned before because once we separated them for about a week, her milk supply dried up. They don't even try to nurse anymore. Another thing you missed while we were taking a break is Grace's birthday. And for her birthday, she got, no, that's not what she got for her birthday, even though they love that toy. She got a tiny little incubator and she's incubating some duck eggs. We decided just to get her the little one because if we got a really big, nice one, it would not really be hers, it would kind of be ours. So this is her little project, 37.36 to 37.63 Celsius for forced air for duck eggs. And we're on like day two. So that's something to look forward to. We're also gonna set up the ducks at the barn because we know that they wanna hatch eggs, but we just have to give them their own private secluded setup. The last thing I wanna say for this video, I'm editing this video right now, by the way, is just a thank you because this experience after having this baby has been probably the easiest and there's a lot of reasons for that but one of them is we're just in a better place financially than we've ever been after having a baby part of the reason for that is because you're watching our YouTube channel and our YouTube channel has provided supplemental income so in a way, every single one of you has helped make this experience a little bit better, a little bit easier, and less stressful while I'm not at work. So thank you. Thanks for following us. We'll see you next time.